Hello and welcome. Today I am going to make fish curry. Using here some mustard oil. As in Odia cuisine, we use lots of mustard oil for every fish recipe. So let's start. Two belly pieces of fish already marinated with about half a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of turmeric powder and this is rohu fish. My pan is hot. I am adding a quarter cup of mustard oil to it. Slide in the fish pieces and do ensure that you are keeping a safe distance from the pan because the fish pieces will splutter a lot and it's very dangerous. You may get really really bad burns. And do ensure that you are not flipping the uh, fish pieces very often because then it will start breaking. Fish pieces are really really tender. So do ensure that the bottom side is nice golden in color, a little brownish rather, then try to flip it. You can see the bottom part has become a little golden in color, so it's time to flip. You can see the nice golden and brownish mark on this side of the fish, so this is ready. I'm going to flip the other one as well. Flip it gently. Yes, this uh, piece of fish also has the nice golden and brownish mark and we want the same color on both sides of the fish and then I'm going The fish pieces are nice and golden brown in color from both the sides so this is done I'm going to take it out I have heated about 5 tablespoons of mustard oil in this pan and I'm adding about a teaspoon of sugar to this and this is very fine sugar so in no time it will start melting and I'm adding about a teaspoon of punch forin to the oil so in goes the punch forin let it crackle the sugar is not going to make this curry very sugary this is just a teaspoon of sugar just for a tinge of sweetness Punch forin is done, in goes onions, in goes 1 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste and cook it till the rawness of it is gone. I am getting the nice aroma of ginger and garlic, in goes some tomato paste and I am going to cook till the oil separates. Masala is done, it is oozing out the oil. To this I'll be adding some dry spices, a teaspoon of red chilli powder or to your taste, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder and about a teaspoon of coriander powder. And now to this I'll be adding about a tablespoon of fish curry powder. This is optional, if you don't want it, you can skip it. Give it a good mix. And cook the dry spices for about a minute. And then I'm going to add some water to it. Masala is ready, in goes water. I am adding about a cup of water, season it accordingly with some salt and I am going to bring the gravy to a boil then I will add in the fish pieces and cook it further for another 10 minutes on low heat till the fish pieces are nice and tender. Gravy has come to a boil, add in the fish pieces. Now cover the lid and let it cook for another 10 minutes on low heat. After 10 minutes the curry should be ready. Yes the gravy looks just fine neither very thin nor really thick. So this is just the right consistency to serve with some steamed rice. And finally to this I will be adding about half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. 
and some roughly chopped cilantro or coriander leaves. Now give it a gentle mix because the fish pieces are very very tender. If you don't handle it with care then you'll end up with some broken fish pieces. That's it, fish curry is ready. This recipe is made in every household as Odias we love eating fish and I remember growing up my mother used to serve us the steamed rice along with the fish curry and the taste of that was truly amazing. Definitely try this very simple Odia fish curry and don't forget to let me know about it. We will meet next time. Till then, bye bye.